Hello everyone, we are back again with another Quick Shocks tutorial. And this video, I'm going to practically resolve the worst form of product listing detail page issue that can happen on Amazon. And what does it mean is that the listing uh, product detail page is not updating either through Amazon itself, neither do the Amazon flat file is helping to edit the product listing detail page. Um, so let's just go ahead and first see through some of the listings uh, that we are going to fix and what are the issues at the moment so if we could just open up a couple of these listings let's just say two of these you can see through this is that this product listing detail page has a, as a title which is um, like you know pretty short and you could see that there's there's no bullet points no product description nothing nothing else is showing on on the front end um, if you could move ahead for another see uh, color of the same product we can see that same same goes through for this product as well we have this title up here um, as we scroll down we couldn't see any bullet points up in here um, which which is an issue but we see the back end of these listing detail pages we can see that this product does have a title different at the back end compared to what it's showing on on the front end also we could see that there are description uh, with multiple bullets that for for the front end but the listing front page does not show any of these content that we want to include for the for the front end for the buyers and obviously for the, for the listing detail page itself so all of these listings have this this issue in which uh, it's not updated through flat file it has not been updated by through amazon seller central directly so this video is basically going to cover how we'll be able to practically resolve this case. And I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough video. As we move down the line, I would request you to please hit the subscribe button below because your single piece of subscription is, is really my motivation. Right. So first thing first is we need to save two important data for our product. Um, first thing is the SKU of the product. And second is the SN number of the product. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to save the SKU for all these essence. Um, right. So the next thing you need to do is basically you need to delete your product uh, listing detail page. Uh, now, this is one of the, the major queries that a lot of people uh, do ask when when I, say, when I mention about deleting your product detail page. Uh, and, and the concern is that what about the reviews that we already have on the product? How we're going to get the same stock that we already have in um, in Amazon warehouses? You can see that this these, all of these products have a stock already available at Amazon warehouse. And you can also see that a couple of products do have reviews as well. So um, you can see here as well that these products do already have reviews at the back end. You can see here. All right. So you don't need to worry about your reviews being lost because none of these data will be lost. Your stock will, will revive later on as well. All the reviews that you already have on the product, it won't it won't be lost it it will it will stay attached to your your SN and SKU. so the next thing you need to do is basically you need to delete the product listing detail pages which on which you know this problem is basically occurring since for my case all of these products have the same issue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to delete all these uh, listings and you can delete from here so i've already deleted all these listings on which i have an issue Obviously, for your case, if it's only a single product, you will be deleting only that product in which you have an issue. All right. So I have already deleted all these listings on which I have an issue. And all of these will be deleted in about like 15 minutes. Um, and the next thing we need to do is basically we need to wait 24 hours to uh, to move to the next step. So if you can see here at the moment, it's like 9.24 p.m. And tomorrow after this time would be able to proceed to the next step so after deleting your listing detail page you need to stay patient you need to just wait for about like 24 hours and after 24 hours we're going to go ahead and do the next step right so as you can see that those 24 hours wait is is over now for my for my case um now if you can go ahead and check from manage inventory you would be able to see that all the listing detail page um would be deleted yesterday you can see that none of the listings are here now so which clearly shows that they were being they were deleted yesterday and also if you can see it from here that we have four listings with 
with the stranded inventory. Uh, so all those detailed uh, pages or listings which, which we deleted yesterday, um, they, uh, they, they have an inventory at Amazon warehouse and those inventory is stranded at the moment. All right, so, um, so this is the point that we need to go to the next step. So we just crossed that 24 hours uh, wait now. And what we need to do is we need to go ahead and download the, the inventory file or, or the, the flat file for our product. So from inventory, go on to add product via upload. From download an inventory file, load down your cursor and type in the product name or whatever your product is. So since it was a blender, as you know, yesterday, and I know what my categories and subcategories are. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select what category it is. And I'm going to scroll down and here you will click generate template. As you can see that the download has been initiated. And as soon as it's completed, we can open the, this file. So this is the flat file we have just downloaded. Uh, from the template page, you will be able to see the sheet uh, that we need to update to uh, to update our listing detail page. Um, so at this point, I'm assuming that you are pretty much well aware of how to create a listing on Amazon via flat file. Or for instance, if it is your first time, uh, there's no need to worry because I do have a video on my YouTube channel on how to create a listing on Amazon uh, via flat file. You can refer back to that video uh, to, to thoroughly understand how each and every step you need to perform to to completely update your listing detail page. Uh, but there are a few important things that are very specific that I need to mention here. Uh, first being is the SKU. Uh, we need to keep this, the same SKU of the product that we want to update. So uh, since we have deleted our listing detail page, we need to refer back to exact same listing uh, that we deleted. So, you know, we can get the reviews back and also uh, that exact same listing that was working for us could be properly updated so sku should be exactly the same that's the same thing that we saved yesterday uh, you know that we also saved the essence so uh, also here we will be selecting uh, from the product type what we'll do is we will select the sn and then in, in product id uh, external product ID section will will copy and paste the sn number that uh, we just saved yesterday the other thing that is important in this type of uh, of a case where uh, we deleted the product listing detail page that you know the listing detail page uh, gets has has a technical bug to that extent that it's not updating through any other means so obviously we need to do the deleting of the listing and then moving to all the steps that i'm doing so here in this type of a case when you deleted the listings you need to to select the type of complete update not the partial update right uh, the reason being is that uh, so first you need to understand you know what is partial update if you don't know that uh, when you do update uh, or change content through partial update selection here uh, you will only be able to change that content that you you type it here everything else will exactly same, stay the same that it was previously but in this type of a case you will have to select update and you will have to enter all the content of the product uh, listing detail page um, because through partial update, whatever that is going to mention in in uh, in these section, these are the only sections that are gonna uh, that are gonna be visible on your listing detail page. So these three points are very important here: is that the SKU should be the same, obviously the essence should be the same, and third is that we'll be doing complete update, not the partial update for this type of case. All right. Um, so I have already done all the process for the products that I deleted yesterday. Um, if we can refer back to this one, we could see that these are the SKU that we saved yesterday. The asset number is here, obviously. Um, and then all these details are here. Um, you can see the images URL here. Um, again, if you don't know how to create these URL, you can refer back to my video on how to create, um, you know, listings via Amazon flat file. I will add a card at the top here so you could refer back to it. Or you can go to my YouTube channel and see uh, it from my videos. Um, the other thing that, that I mentioned that obviously you need to do a complete update. And you can see that since I have added a, com a complete update here, I am going to enter all the details that I know about the product. Um, each and every detail, all the bullet points, you can see it here. 
on everything, you know, backend systems and even the dimensions and everything. Also, there's one important thing that you should be doing exactly the same since, for instance, if you're doing FBA model uh, and the, the fulfillment center, you would be selecting Amazon e EU, not the default. If you're doing FBM, you would be selecting default, but obviously most of the times people are doing Amazon FBA model. So you would be selecting uh, this Amazon uh, slash EU because you already have an inventory at Amazon warehouse and rest is pretty much same. So we will be saving this file and the next step is obviously to upload it on the Amazon. So we'll go to the Amazon and we'll proceed there. Right, so from inventory, click add product via upload. From upload your inventory file, we need to upload the, the Excel sheet or the flat file that we have updated. So click browse file and you need to go on and select the, the file that you downloaded and you update it. So, so once uploaded, click upload file. Um, so we just need to wait for a couple of minutes for this flat file to, to show the progress. As you can see here, this was the flat file we have uploaded and Amazon came back with some, some fixes requirement. So, um, same is the case for you and it is very likely possible that you're going to end up finding yourself in this situation as well. So what you will do here is that you will download your processing report. And once it's downloaded, you need to open it up and see what's the issue that Amazon is it's stating that you need to fix in. So um, this is the file that we downloaded. Uh, and from we need to go again to the template. And you can see here that it says that number of the attributes with errors. So all the listings do have two fixes that we need to do. Uh, all of these here. Um, what we'll do, we'll drag it all the way to the NNC. What are those? All right, so you can see here that this is the one of the requirement that we need to fix in. So it's asking um, that is this product bad? Uh, is this a is this product a battery or does it utilize a battery? So we need to to fix this because we have not updated it in our uh, flat file. And also there would be another one all the way now. again here. Yellow portion shows that applicable dangerous good regulation. So we need to also add it here. Uh, now we would not edit this sheet that we download will edit the exact same sheet uh, which we uploaded. So um, this was the sheet that we uploaded last time. So we will add these two details on the Amazon. And you can see here that these attributes were not added. So here again, uh, is this product a battery or does it utilize battery? Since it does have a battery involved, so um, we need to mention it here, yes. And the other thing that they want us to add is about the applicable script regulation, right? So here there is not, it's not applicable. So we can drag it for all this. Right, so what we need to do is we need to save it again. And we'll go back to the Amazon from upload your inventory file. We'll go back again. And click browse file like so we'll wait for the upload right so you see here that uh, I have selected Excel here um, this is for this purpose for the exact same purpose uh, that we take the error file in this one um, and if you don't want to to receive this kind of file you can also select the text format, but I would suggest you to go with the Excel one because it's easier to, to navigate the problems through Excel sheet. Uh, but whatever is easy for you, you can you can select that. Um, click upload. And uploading will will wait again for Amazon to to talk us to about if there's an issue again. Okay, so now the upload status of the flat file um, show is done, so we can download the processing report from here. 
uh, and check if there is any uh, issue in the flat file. So this is the, the processing report. And as you can see, there's that all of the essence are uh, successfully uploaded um, via flat file. So we can refer back to our inventory on Amazon and see those all the listings that we deleted should be back now with the updated details. And you can see here that there's, these are the essence that we deleted and the inventory also shows back now live. And if we can open up the listings, we'll be able to see that all of the content has been properly updated. So here again, you can see the title is updated now. It, it should be showing the bullet points as well. Um, and yeah, also other other details. All right. So um, for your case, if somehow this process also does not help your cause, you can open up a case with Amazon and you can provide them with the the batch ID number and 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 ask them to to fix the, the technical bug because this is the only way that you can do yourself um, and it should fix 99% of the time it should resolve your case as well but in case if this process also does not help you you should contact Amazon open a case with Amazon uh, with this batch ID and tell them to fix it and they would be able to to update your listing detail page with reference to this batch ID thank you very much and I wish you very good luck have a good day